Here we will apply Euler's equation along a straight streamline. And to make the analysis very easy, we will align this streamline with the x-direction, such that the velocity vector v is equal to some scalar that I shall call big V times the unit vector in the x-direction. Euler's equation is given here, and we note first that the flow is steady, so dv by dt is equal to zero, and secondly we note that the y velocity is equal to zero, so the v dot grad term becomes, in Cartesian shorthand, capital V in the x-direction, dotted with d by dx, this is just in two dimensions I'm writing down the del operator, I've got a vector dotted with a vector operator, this gives me a scalar operator which is just big V d by dx, so the left hand side of the Euler equation becomes rho big V d by dx of V which is just big V ex, and the right hand side becomes minus, in the x direction, it's dp by dx, and in the y direction, it's minus ey dp by dy. Resolving this in the ey direction gives simply that dp by dy is equal to zero. In other words, there's no pressure gradient across the streamline. And resolving in the x direction, gives this expression, in which I've used the chain rule, which here is that d by dx of a half row v squared is equal to a half row d by dx of v squared, which is 2v partial dv by dx. And now I have two terms, which are each d by dx of something, so I can put them together to give this expression, which is that d by dx of p plus a half row v squared is equal to zero. Now I can integrate this along the streamline, and in this case the streamline is in the x direction, to give p plus a half rho big V squared is equal to a constant, and that is given the symbol p0, and it is called the stagnation pressure. It has a clear physical understanding. It is the pressure at a stagnation point, meaning that if you bring a flow to rest without loss of mechanical energy, you will measure that pressure at the point at which it is at rest. When you add a gravitational body force to the analysis, then an extra term appears, which is plus rho gz, where z is the height above an arbitrary point, known as a datum level. And this is given the symbol pt, which is known as the total pressure. And there are obvious physical meanings to each of these terms. Rho gz is the gravitational potential energy per unit volume. A half rho v squared is the kinetic energy per unit volume and P, which is also an energy per unit volume, is the pressure potential energy, which is the potential for the fluid to do work on its environment. And this final equation is called Bernoulli's equation. It's an equation for the conservation of mechanical energy, and it states that one can move energy from each of these terms to another one, but that in an inviscid flow, one does not lose mechanical energy.